Smith, married to Wayne Smith. We have beef cattle, blueberry bushes. We've been fighting the gas company since 2007. We were approached by PG&E to sign a lease and that was back in 2000. We didn't know anything about a gas lease and when they came in here their first story was your neighbors did, why don't you? And we still didn't sign. And then they came back and said, you're not gonna see anybody, go ahead and sign it. And we still refused. And then they came back and said, look, if you don't sign it and they find gas, they're just gonna suck it right out from underneath your feet. You're not gonna get a dime. They came in, they were production wells. In um, 2006, they shut down the, the production wells. Then they made them into storage wells. So with the storage wells, they're injecting and withdrawing. When they drill, they cause water problems. And with injection and withdrawal, they're causing water problems too. In January 2007, we had a horse go down and um, it was like neurological. She, she just kicked her feet and she couldn't get up. And she, she had to be put down. And then in April, we had an, another cow go down <clears throat> that sa showed the same symptoms. Then we lost dogs and chickens, and we found out we had um, arsenic in our water and methane in our water, and we ended up getting a $11,000 water unit so us and our animals could have drinking water. They built a pressure station right outside the woods here, and no well behind us, pipelines. They went in there and tore all the tall trees out. Level dirt up in there and pack it. And go to the pressure station. That's the noise maker. Food to water, like fire, is not worth it. It's no a future. In 2009, the compressor station blew up and blew oil all over people's property. Um, we had it on our vehicles, um, our blueberries, everything that was outside got this coating of oil. When I call my regular customers and say, hey, would the blueberries are in, they'll say, oh, well, don't they have methane on them? I, I couldn't leave here um, thinking that somebody else might buy it and get the headaches. Like my husband, he wants to leave the property to our three grandchildren, and I keep saying, why do you want to leave death to the grandchildren? Because that's it's what it is, it's death. You're either going to have a pipeline blow up, you're going to have a well blow up, you have contamination, you have a compressor station that likes to blow up. Who would want to live here? these commercials of people that uh, have uh, been using their land for the drilling sites and they're saying that they're just farming now for fun. Well, good for them because they got paid a lot of money for these drilling sites. But the poor little guy that's working for a living and isn't so well off, they're paying the ultimate price. They're giving up their health 
and their home is depreciated to nearly nothing. And it's not fair. Yes, I'm living in an industrial wasteland now. I get to deal with explosions, high traffic, stinky air, and having no water. So yeah, that's, that's my nice rural community is now an industrial wasteland. There's no way I would drink this water. If I, if I went down and opened the tap downstairs and showed you what my water looked like, it, it, oh it looks like it came out of my septic. They're poisoning you. And they're telling you there's nothing wrong. And you're the only one that has a problem. We pay taxes just like everybody else in our communities, and nobody's stepping and up for water. us. Adopt us into your community. Wait, I pay taxes to Conoquinescent. Then why am I suffering like this? Then you find out you're not the only one that has a problem. Then you find out your wife's not the only one that has leukemia. And you find out you're not the only one that's got a rash. I'm only 50. My kids shouldn't have to take care of me until I'm in my 80s. I should still be helping them. I shouldn't be asking them for help. So to be able to survive, I have to live out of a jug. Took him to the vet. The vet looked at him and said it was cancer. Well, the puppy couldn't breathe anymore. So we put the puppy down. But I still say it was what we said it was. It was from the water. Since this, uh, all this drilling has started, the, the people that operate their machinery, they have no respect for, for the common man, the people that own the land there. I mean, they think it's a free for all. I mean, if they, they took my mailbox out. I mean, that's not right. You know, we're, we're not making millions of dollars here. We're just poor folk trying to make a living. And yet, we're, we're, we're bestowed on us all this uproar. Poor Kim, man. Her place is worth $90,000. She won't even get 20 out of that when they sell it. You know, she had something good over there. Three-stall garage, double-wide house, three-stall detached garage. Ha! That's heaven, you know? Not worth nothing. No water, ain't worth nothing. I've got an offer of $15,000 on my home after it being on the market for a year. I um, don't know if the bank's going to accept it because I just want to leave. I, I just want to leave and get away from this as far as I can. I just, that's, that's really what I want to do and I can't wait till I can. So I'm going to take, you know, a hit on my credit and so on and so forth, but Skylar's safety is much more important than um, my credit. Don't let them sneak in. We all have breathing problems, coughing. You know, we just want answers, that's all. We want answers. And we expect our government to give us answers. We need a politician, is what we need. We need a politician to speak, start speaking up for us. And that's a shame that we don't have one that will stand behind us 100%. You know, we're not asking them to, you know, break no laws. We're just asking them to fight for us to get our water. Well, we're sick, we're sick, we're sick, we're sick. I had a real bad nosebleed for no reason at all. I almost died in that house. I bled so bad that um, I had to get operated on. Now, the doctors asked me, have you been around any chemicals? Have you been around any battery acid? Have you been around this? Have you been around? And I'm telling them, no, 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 not that I know of, not that I know of. I don't know why this happened to me. Well, I know why now. When you were so used to being healthy, it's not fun getting sick and, and not knowing why. What's doing this? Because things like this just don't happen overnight. It has to be something going on with the in our air, what we're breathing, in our water, what we're drinking, and and that's a big part of, of everyone's life. You can't survive without it. But what do you do when it's contaminated? <laughs>